Today we're going to learn how to take assets from the heritage type bundle and learn how to expand them. You can't just take it and drag it left or right because the way that it's built is like this compound path. You can't just move it like a shape and kind of expand it because you've noticed like you put a picture in Photoshop or Illustrator, it's going to warp and expand and look really weird. So we're going to dive into Illustrator and check that out right now. So here we are in Illustrator and I've been working on some sermon graphics. Uh, this is the one that's going to be for Christmas Eve, as you can see. So if you're in the area, uh, feel free to come to our Christmas Eve service. That would be super cool. But if we go over here to the frames, um, what I wanted to use for one of these handouts was this just very simple frame. Um, you can see I've got it around the card. This is like a little business card size. And then this is bigger for like a pamphlet size. So I'm just going to kind of copy this in here so you can see. It's pretty huge. Um, I'll bring it down. But so what we're learning is how to expand these shapes or expand these frames so that they don't warp. So if I take this and I just start, let's say I'm trying to scale it down to be like this size. If I just start scaling it down, you can see it gets really warpy, right? It just is gross. Like, look at that. That's awful. So that's not how we want it. We want it to keep its same form. And so the way that you would have to do that is use the direct selection tool. So you can either select it um, with the, the tool. And my cat is going crazy um, because my wife is gone. So you can hold the command or the alt key as well if you're just on the regular selection tool. That's what I like to do. And I will select this side, grab any point and just start dragging it. Now, if you don't hold shift, it'll be going all over the place. So make sure you hold shift um, in the angle that you want to do. So if I just want to go straight across, so hold shift and make sure you're going straight across. And you can just do that indefinitely because what it's doing is it's taking all of these points that you've selected and saying expand, move all of these points together, right? So if I just do that with one point, if I just use the direct selection tool, and I just expand one point. Obviously, I can do it that way, uh, but it only affects that one point. I don't want to do that. You can do the same thing going down. I can select it like this, grab this point, hold shift, and drag it down, which is exactly how I did this bigger one over here. It's like an eight inch uh, type thing. This is what's called a compound path. If I double click into this, you can see up here, compound path. So if you want to see what kind of work went into it, you can right click, release compound path, and you can see all these little bits and bobs that kind of went into this. Uh, like, look at, look at all this. So this is what went into this. You know, it shows their process of how they started this uh, and got to where they were. You know, same, th same concept as if you were to create a shape um, and then you were to create another shape inside that shape and highlight them together and cut it out in the middle. And so this is the same way it is now a compound path. So same concept here. Um, so you can't just willy nilly uh, expand this because it does the same thing it would do if you put an image in here and it starts warping it and it gets really weird. Uh, let's choose like this one that's got this fill in it. I'll paste it in here. Good golly, that's huge. So we'll scale that right on down. Alrighty, and we'll zoom in here like this. So I can release the compound path or you can click into it. Again, you can see up here, it is a compound path and I can select just this one part. Maybe you don't want it filled like that. Maybe you want it outline. Boom, you can delete it. Come back out and then you can add your text in here and make it kind of fit to this elaborate uh, frame here. So what's really cool is let's say we want to grab this one and the same rules are going to apply. So we'll come in here and paste this, which hopefully you guys are getting it by now. But for the sake of demonstration, let's say this needs to be a lot shorter. So we'll hold the alt or the command, grab a point. Oopsie. Oopsie. We'll hold the direct selection. We'll grab a point here, hold shift and drag it in. Just be careful with the point. I mean, this is pretty surefire. I haven't told this to anyone and they've had a problem, um, you know, but you can't just grab a point and start going in and out because it's going to distort the path, right? It's not a shape like you draw a square. It's, it's not the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can get real granular with this. You can, if when you hold the command, you can see all the points. Um, so, you know, you can click out of this, you know, select that and delete it if you want. Uh, you know, try not to delete their work too much. Just try to edit it to your liking, but they've already done a lot of work into all of these. 
Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, shout out heritage type. This is from the vintage font bundle. This is uh, royal signage. Uh, you can't see it over here because I've made it a uh, expandable shape just to, for ease of editing for the printer in case they needed to adjust this a little bit. Um, this is kind of a template I use. I actually hand lettered this uh, with all of these custom drawings I did kind of around it. But again, it, you can see the similarity. Um, these are two different assets. But uh, shout out to them, Heritage Type. Again, you can check the links in below. I'm happy to be doing these tutorials along in partnership with them. Uh, they're doing some amazing work and so yeah i just want to help you know how to use it so please reach out if you need help with other things i've got a load of tutorials kind of backed up um, sorry i'm not posting them fast enough but uh, let me know what you need and again if you're in the area raleigh durham come on check us out christmas eve let's uh let's get together and uh yeah Alrighty, well i hope that tutorial was helpful again i had some people asking me how do i take one part of this asset this frame or uh this little you know housing box for the text and how do i move it how do i make it longer or smaller without expanding it and making it all warpy and weird so i hope that was helpful for you this was just a little quick tutorial again you can check the link down below if you want to grab these assets they're amazing especially as it's christmas time now you can use these fonts and other things to make really amazing christmas graphics or, or any graphics that you want for that matter uh, so check that link down below it would mean a lot if you like this video share it with somebody that's trying to figure out how to use all of these different assets because as they come are super amazing just blow it up use it, it's ready to go but sometimes you want to get a little bit more in depth tweak it a little bit more make it your own so hopefully this video helps you out with that um, if you would be so kind as to subscribe to this channel that would be amazing and it would make my day and make me happy and then you get to know when more videos come out so yeah that would be great and i will see you in the next video